I'd like to tell a story. Now, I'm not a scout myself, but I worked for one. A guy named Secretary of Defense Robert M. Gates. Himself an Eagle Scout, President of the Boy Scouts of America, Board of Directors of Boy Scouts of America. He had a wooden eagle by his desk in the Pentagon. It was foundational to who he was as a person. 40 years of service to his country, United States Air Force, entry-level employee to become director of Central Intelligence, Deputy National Security Advisor, Secretary of Defense, two different presidents, Medal of Freedom. You can't make a resume up like that, right? And it was foundational to him as a person. So much so that in 2010, the Boy Scout Jamboree was at then Fort AP Hill, now Fort Walker, Virginia, about an hour and a half south from here. And they had the Boy Scout Jamboree there. It was a typical Tuesday morning in the Pentagon, and we go through the daily brief, and, sir, you're going to have this one meeting with Chairman Joint Chiefs, then you can head down the stairs, get on the helicopter, go knock out the speech, get back. we got two meetings, and you go to the Pentagon. We're going through all the wickets. And all of a sudden, we look out the window, and we see not two helicopters, which is his normal package, four landing. And he goes, everybody up. We're going to the Jamboree. And I was like, you know, I was young Turk. I thought I was a big dog. I said, sir, I'm busy. I got things to do. And he said, get your jacket and get your self <laughs> down the stairs and get on that helicopter. Now, I, didn't, I wasn't in scouting. I grew up in the city. And I was like, sir, we're busy. We got two wars going on. And you know, I was just complaining the whole way. And he says, get on. So we go down. We fly down. And there's over 50,000 people. At the Jamboree. The most people they had in attendance since 1973. A harsh reminder of my birth year. And looking in this sea of people. Dr. Gates gets up there and he says, before I begin my prepared remarks, if you have a family member, mom, dad, brother, sister, cousin, uncle, that's in the United States military, whether they served before or currently, please stand up. And it was like a military formation, 50,000 people, bang. And it took your breath away. And what you saw was an unbreakable, unmeasurable bond with the United States military. Especially for somebody like me that had no appreciation for this amazing, iconic American institution. 